What's up, internet? Welcome to Action Driving Vlog 12. Rah. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. So, I don't know how interesting I will be today, and I, I don't really have anything to talk about, but hey, I'm driving to work, so let's fill this time with some vlogging. Yesterday, I worked a double, first double I've worked of this year, and I've forgotten what it does to you. I feel like it's the last day of the week already. I'm spinning tires. It's not good. I feel like I should be off today. Like I woke up and looked outside and I was like, has a meteor hit the, the earth yet? Can I just like stay in bed all day, please? I'm gonna change my mirror. It's not safe to do while driving. Don't do that at home. Or, I mean, in your car driving, unless your car is your home, then I'm perfectly correct. And I'm terribly sorry for your predicament. Thank God you have internet. You don't even have to leave your location to place applications in or whatever. Or check Craigslist, which is how I got my job at Lowe's. Surfing that there, uh, that there, 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 that Craigslist, and uh, happened to find something that said Lowe's Home Improvement. I was like, that seems a little bit too official to be on Lowe's. Let's check this out. There's a bus picking up children at four o'clock in the afternoon. That bus is fucking late. That bus is fucking late. I'd be pissed. It's like, I am missing, I don't know, what was a cartoon that I watched back in my day? Rocket Power. I'm missing fucking Rocket Power, man. I need to go home now. South Park comes on in six hours. I need to be ready. Jesus. Ah. The weather is so, like, moist outside, but at the same time, it's like dry as hell. It fucking monsooned last night while we were unloading the truck. And thanks to Lowe's attention to detail, the ceiling fucking leaks at the exit of the truck. So as soon as you get in or out of the truck, water's dripping on you from an unknown source, from quite possibly an extremely dirty rat infested place. So you try to avoid those water droplets by all costs. It still doesn't work all the time. And I was trying to avoid them extra because I've got this electric thing hanging from my neck, which is the LG Tone 700. Uh, if you haven't watched my unboxing video where I talk about this, you should go watch it. Really good video. And my shortest video that I've ever made. So you might actually be able to sit through the whole thing. Unlike, you know, most of you. And I, I don't blame you. I really don't. I can barely sit through my old videos. I haven't even sat through a driving vlog 10 yet. And I know I need to do a little bit to it to make sure it's uh, finalized. Add a little bit to the comments. I know there's probably some things that I said I'd put in the, uh, I mean, the description, but I didn't put in the description. They're coming. Uh, I might try to do them if I get some spare time at work. Who knows? Probably not, because they wouldn't react very well to that, and I, I just don't even want to try to sign into my YouTube account at Lowe's. That just sounds like a pain in the ass. Lowe's has, uh, like most retail U.S. Um, giant companies, they have their own operating system on their computers, as well as like a firewall to certain, you know, internet things most internet porn, but not all, and Reddit, you can go to Reddit, but you can't click on any of the links, so your best option is to read the Today I Learned section, which is okay, but that's not all that Reddit has to offer all the time, and it gets really old, really quick. 
quick. I've worked at two positions at Lowe's. One, the first position I worked was outside lawn and garden loader. So like people would buy 150 fucking bags of sand and be like, oh, I need these in my Prius. Oh, I need these in uh, my purse. Can you fit them in there? Why, why can't you? Urgh. And I'd be like, ma'am, I'm sorry. Uh, we've loaded 45 bags into the rear of your Prius. I have to warn you, that exceeds, that's like you have seven full-sized Americans, which I mean 250 pound Americans, in the back of your car. Now, have you ever had that many people in your car? But no, it's always just been me. Well, it's gonna drive very different. And if you hit any huge bumps, you're probably gonna break your struts and your suspension. Would you like us to load more? Yeah. Yeah, I only got a little ways to go. Okay, ma'am, I must warn you, we are not liable for any damage caused to your vehicle. You have a great day. And I'd have to initial and sign and circle that on the web, on the uh, receipt that I would take care of. Because they would always come and hand me a receipt and I'd be like, yeah, give me that shit. And I'd sign it, put my signature on there. I felt famous for, uh, I don't even know, it's March, June, July, March, March, April, June, <laughs> fuck. Fucking, I did it for about four months. Wow, dude. Wow. You slow the fuck down. You're an auto dealer. What are you doing? That's not your car. You should go do 70 on some other highway. Asshole. Asshole. What is it? With a common trend of American cars having EU license plates on the front of their cars. Are you gonna drive that fucking car to London? Are you gonna drive, what is that? That is a Chevy Impala. Like a nine, or a 2009 Chevy Impala. Who would pay the money to fucking ship that overseas? I wouldn't. I would just buy one of the uh, Crown Vicks over there. But that's just me. Crown Victoria, or uh, as most people know around the world, the American police car that's been seen in a lot of Hollywood movies is probably one of the most indestructible cars that there is. As much as I uh, kind of loathe and hate the American Top Gear, they, they do a good job in one of their episodes to show just how powerful the, uh, the Crown Victoria really is. And most uh, police shops or police headquarters that still run the uh, Crown Victoria, they have frame twisters, which like you get into a giant wreck with that, that car, you take it back to the shop and just like twist it back into shape, bang all the dents out, replace the engine that's all shit, and you're good. If you immediately get that car and just replace it with a V8 crate motor from Ford or any other company that likes to do business with Ford, like say Cosworth or uh, I think it's Roush, get a Roush engine in there, amazing, amazing stuff can happen there. Because then you're just driving a NASCAR, which who doesn't want to do that? It's always badass. God, it looks dreary and dungy today. It just makes me want to go back to sleep, like while I'm driving. <laughs> Fucking hell. Come on. So NASCAR has American cars and one Japanese brand, and that's Toyota. They got Ford, Chevy, and Toyota. They used to have Dodge, but Dodge backed out because they're losing a lot of money, and what else can they do? It's bad enough that they're taking billions of dollars in fucking bailouts. And I hate companies that take bailouts, but you know, you gotta live with that. That's just the American way now. 
damn, buddy. Oh, there's some idiotic drivers. I better be careful today. <laughs> better be fucking careful. But what I'm waiting on in NASCAR is not anything super spectacular. I just want a Honda. I want my Honda NASCAR. I mean, Honda makes a four-door mid-size sedan, which is what they use in NASCAR. Where is my Honda Accord busting through the pack of Talladega? Where is my Honda Accord cutting corners at Watkins Glen? Huh? Come on. Make this a reality, NASCAR. I know it'll probably never happen, but it would be nice to see a little bit of young blood in NASCAR. Because Toyota, thanks to Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, the big names in NASCAR, they've been mopping the floor with the rest of the competition. They haven't been win winning championships, quite sadly. Chevy and fucking Hendrick have been winning championships. Oh my god, there is a cop right behind me. And I'm talking about NASCAR and doing way over the speed limit. So, oh my god, the cop's passing me now. I'm gonna stop talking. Artistic Custom Concrete. Concrete Construction Specialist. Alright. What are you doing, buddy? Damn. I don't know how it is in the EU or uh, London and Europe, but there's lots of lanes here in America where it'll be two lanes, and then it'll clearly state, lane ends in a hundred fucking meters. And there'll be people in that lane being like, oh, Oh my god, my lane's ending! Oh, oh my god, will you let me over? Oh my god, the world would end if you don't let me over! Ugh. I hate that. I hate that. If you're in the other lane and you need to get over, you better beat me in a fucking drag race and take that position. And then, you'll either A, hit something because you're drag racing and racing on the streets, which is illegal, or B, you will pass me, and you will earn my respect for not crashing into things and passing me at the same time. But if you just sit there and stick your nose in traffic, trying to block traffic, then we're gonna have a problem. We gonna have a problem. Looks like Lowe's is fucking empty today. I could have told you this. Uh, well, there's a little 
little hot dog hut outside Lowe's. I might get a hot dog today. And by hot dog hut, I mean like a caravan with some burners in it that cook hot dogs. <clears throat> oh, it makes me hungry just thinking about it. I'm gonna find a nice place to sit with 4G on my fucking phone and try and catch up on my YouTubes. Which is what I do. If you watch Hulu, good for you, you're supporting Rooster Teeth. If you watch Netflix, good for you, you're paying $8 a month to watch the same movies over and over again. But if you watch YouTube, you ain't gotta pay shit. And you get new content every day by YouTubers like me, and Nerd Cubed, and Rooster Teeth. And I swear there's others, but I just don't think about them that much. <laughs> One day I'll have, uh, probably upcoming, uh, ha uh, Valentine's Day, I'll have a, uh, go subscribe to these YouTubers video or something like that. Seek out some young and talented YouTubers, such as myself. Wink. <laughs> but, you know, that's just a small idea, and Valentine's Day is that much farther away. God. I just want to go to sleep. I'm going to turn this camera off and go to sleep in the parking lot. If I wake up before work, you'll see a driving vlog tomorrow. If I don't, you'll see a days off video tomorrow. Hey! <laughs> okay. Uh, well, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, favorite. Rah. <sighs> Enjoy this wonderful day. I love you all. Peace. Senior Whoopi out.